We began with breaking news from Clinton Township. At least one person was killed in a house fire there overnight. Now the call went out just before midnight from a home on Vermander Road. That's right off of Gratiot. And that's where we find 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell, who's been at the scene all morning. Now, Peter, walk us through what you've learned so far. The fire started at around 1140 p.m. last night. Multiple agencies then responded here to this home. And you can see it's a loss. Uh, the person who lived there was disabled and could not make it out. And we've been told that a firefighter also lost oxygen inside and had to be pulled out of the home itself. But you can see the house was engulfed in flames. And when I got here early this morning, the fire marshal was here and fire investigators were also here trying to determine what caused the fire that is still under investigation at this point. But neighbors uh, were heard an explosion go off. Uh, it's unknown right now what caused that explosion, whether it be an oxygen tank or a propane tank. That is up uh, to speculation right now. We're going to work our sources to confirm what exactly uh, caused this house to catch fire and to explode. Again, one person is dead this morning. The other uh, firefighter is okay, but was pulled out due to losing oxygen while inside searching for that person. And once we do have more information as to the cause of this fire and the cause of the explosion, we'll be sure to bring it to you. Reporting in Clinton Township by Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yeah, a real tragedy there. Thank you so much, Peter, for that update. Also.